and just for our audience sake. Yes. When you and D'Angelo got together, he was not a star. He wasn't a star. The, the world didn't know him. When, no. when, when you met, became friends, and fell in love with this man, you was there before Brown Sugar. Right. You was there, you was there when, when nobody was paying attention to him, correct? Correct. Well, he had a, uh, the, the publisher, Jocelyn Cooper and Gary Harris, God rest his soul, they, they uh, saw his talent. But they could not hone in on his talent because in their uh, mind, he, he, he wasn't consistent. So the thing was, let us hook him up with Angie because she's good at this stuff. So when they hooked, it, hooked us up, it was to hook us up to write and to work and for me to help develop, you know, with him, his craft, and to write with him. So... Uh, the the world didn't know him. He was he had weight on him at the time. A lot of people see him all cut up, and it's just like, look at this fine, gorgeous man. No, he wasn't all of that. When I met him, he was overweight. He was hiding behind clothes. He was doing his thing, but I never judged him for what he looks like. I was working with what I thought was a great artist, and so I didn't I didn't judge him for that stuff. So when I got with him, they just like. Angie, get him, get him, get him to work. So we got in the studio and we worked, we worked. The, the more we worked, the better we got. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so once uh, they they were trying to finish the Brown Sugar album, they couldn't get him to finish the album. We stayed in there to Christmas Day in the studio. I I toppled my whole Christmas to stay in there with him to get that album finished because I was a no nonsense producer. And I mean, he produced his own music, but I was that entity that says, no, we got to get this done. And so we got it done. And as a result, Christmas Day, the album was finished. Everybody was so happy, like, oh, my God, he finished the album finally. And uh, we left and went out of town after that for Christmas. But at that time, I, I began to be credited for helping him finish the album. That would be a thing that one day would hurt me more than anything because after I began to get the accolades for helping him to get it done, something he couldn't get finished, after I began to get the accolades, it turned into a love-hate relationship. I could have did this without her. I, I, yeah, it became angry. And then I think all the necessary powers that be that wanted to uh, push up on that, they pretty much kind of fed that. Uh, to the public. So it made it look like, oh, she's doing this. I didn't have to do it. My proof was in my work ethic. And at the end of the day, uh, they started saying, she around here telling everybody she did it. No, 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 no. You got to pe remember, people that hired me to work with you, all those people were running their mouths and saying stuff like, he not going to get nothing done unless Angie in the studio. So enough people said enough of that that the industry started to look at, oh, she's doing this. I didn't have to. I had a, a record on the chart that was in top 20 already, so I didn't mm -hmm. have to prove myself. Vertical hole head seems much too busy out, and I pretty much toppled everything to stay there and work with him just because I enjoyed the work. I wasn't looking for credit. You know, I wasn't looking for credit, but guess what? Shit happens. There you go. There you go.